All right, so in this example, we are using a chemical equation to find moles of product from moles of reactant. So it says that wine goes bad soon after opening because the ethanol dissolved in it reacts with oxygen gas to form water and aqueous acetic acid. The main ingredient in vinegar. Calculate the moles of acetic acid produced by the reaction of 0.06 moles of oxygen. Be sure your answer has a unit symbol if necessary and round it to two significant digits. So what this is is a stoichiometric problem and in order to begin the stoichiometric problem we have to have a balanced chemical equation. So this is our first step. Okay, This is our first step in stoichiometry which is what we've been working towards this whole chapter. So Let's write the chemical equation and then balance it. We need our reactants and our products. They tell us our reactant, right? They tell us that uh, ethanol is reacting with oxygen. So ethanol, CH3, they give us the chemical formula, CH2OH. Uh, this is dissolved, so I'll put aqueous here. It's in water, dissolved in water. It says it reacts with oxygen gas, so let's write oxygen is diatomic, of course. Let's put G here. Produces, what does it produce? Dissolve in reacts with oxygen gas to form water and aqueous acetic acid. So we have acetic acid as one product. It says aqueous acetic acid and water and this is liquid water as well so there's our chemical equation we have our reactants ethanol reacting with oxygen to produce acetic acid and water essentially vinegar all right the next thing once we have the chemical equation we have to balance it is it balanced so let's give it a quick check two carbon atoms over here two carbon atoms over here six hydrogens, six hydrogens, three oxygens, three oxygens. So fortunately, it's already balanced for us. So now let's see what, what they're asking us to do. They tell us that uh, we have 0 0.060 moles of oxygen. And they say, how many moles of acetic acid are produced from this reaction that involves 0 0.60 moles of oxygen. So as a reactant, this amount of oxygen can only make so much acetic acid when it reacts with ethanol. Once the oxygen runs out, the reaction stops and no more acetic acid, no more water are produced. So this is saying all right, assuming that we have plenty of this, we have enough ethanol or an excess of ethanol with this much oxygen, how much acetic acid can you make? How many moles? So this is essentially a conversion problem and they're asking us to convert from this to this. We've done this before. How do you convert from one substance to another? What do we need? We need the mole ratio. That's going to serve as our conversion factor. The mole ratio um, is going to serve as a conversion factor to allow us to convert from amount of this to an amount of this. The mole ratio is simply the coefficients. Coefficient of one here, one here, one here, and one here. So our mole ratio is one mole of O2 is consumed to produce one mole of acetic acid. That's it. So let's do our problem. We have 0 0.060 moles of oxygen. They want us to know how many moles of acetic acid we will get in this reaction. So I'm already at moles of oxygen. Now here's a key. 
you can only convert from one substance to another in stoichiometry once you have moles. So if, we, if they gave us grams to start, I need to convert it to moles first before I convert. Why? Look at the mole ratio. What are the units? Moles. Moles. So we need to be at moles before we can use this as the conversion factor to, to get to another substance in the reaction. So because I have moles already, I can use this. Let's place it. One mole of O2 produces one mole of CH3COOH. Check our units. Moles of O2 is gone. Now I have moles of CH3COOH. So let's do the math. The math will be 0 0.060 moles of CH3COOH. They want us to round to two significant digits, and we already have two. So this is our answer. Let's interpret the answer. Starting with this many moles of oxygen, assuming I have plenty of this, how much acetic acid will be produced from this reaction, this many moles?